<clears throat> Hello everyone, and welcome to Half-Life Blue Shift, where we get to play the role of Barney this time. And we're going to start with the hazard course, because why not? We might as well get the most out of this playthrough. Welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course. Oh god. <laughs> I'll be your holographic guide to assist you in your training. Begin by putting on your vest and helmet. You'll find this equipment in the next room. Whenever you see one of these buttons, press it and I'll repeat instructions or show you how things are done. <laughs> All the cringe is staring into my soul. <laughs> Here you will find your standard armor vest and helmet. These will help protect you against any physical threat you may encounter while performing your duties. When your armor becomes too damaged to be useful, you'll need to find a fresh vest or helmet to protect yourself. Okay. So yeah, we don't have to rely on HEV chargers, we get body armor instead, and that can be... I'm not gonna lie, it's r really hard to find. So we are going to have to be really careful in this playthrough. Um, also, I forgot to fix the FOV. Hang on. There we go. Moving around in your armor may be a little tricky at first. Take a moment to get a feel for moving around. Once you get comfortable with this, proceed to the next section just around the corner. So yeah, this acts pretty much the same way as regular uh, Half-Life Hazard Course, but for some reason they changed a few things, like some things uh, some courses show up later than what they're supposed to be, or earlier. The first move you'll need to practice is jumping. You'll have to get over all three of these obstacles in order to proceed. It helps to get a running start. Watch me do it, then try it yourself. So yeah, same as before. Please proceed to the next area. You'll need to duck under the next set of obstacles. When you crawl in a crouched position, you can move very silently. This can be very useful when you don't want to be hurt. Yep. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Area. Now, try combining moves. You'll need to jump, duck, and then jump again. This should get you prepared for the next room, where you'll have to do both moves at the same time. Good work. You'll look prepared for the next room. To get into these pipes, you'll need to perform a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe. While moving forward, Jump up and hold the jump button to go into a crouch in mid-air. It may be tricky at first, but you'll find it comes in handy to be able to jump and duck into tight areas. Yeah. <clears throat> huh. He looks different from the rest of the other scientists. Huh. I wonder if we'll see him again. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to climb back down, just move backward. Sure thing's bug eyes. The next four jumps get more difficult each time. Don't worry if you miss the last one a few times. Just climb up and do it again. If you can make all the jumps in a continuous run, you're doing just fine. Yeah, this part is the one that's changed. Usually you just go one, two, three, and make it over to the other side, but they made it go into like a U-turn towards this way. To start the lift, Walk up to the button and press the use key while facing it. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. 
find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. You may take some damage from the fall, but don't worry about it. We'll give you some first aid in the next section. I literally heard the smile on his face when he said that. <laughs> You'll find medical kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa Research Facility. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit, then press and hold your Your health will recover gradually until you're at full health or until the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. You may also find HEV charging stations, such as this one, throughout the facility. These stations, however, can only be used by qualified science personnel wearing powered hazardous environment equipment, so they will be inaccessible to you during your duties. Yeah, we're going to, like I said, we're going to be using body armor throughout the whole thing. And we get body armor from the corpses of fallen um, security guards. Spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Great job. Sometimes you'll need to rely on quick reflexes to get around. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push the box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward into the box. You can push it into position. Um, <laughs> I didn't think I was actually going to make that jump. <laughs> if you can't push an obstacle out of the way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key, move backwards and the box will be pulled with you. Okie dokie. Frame rate. Nothing else works. You can try breaking things to block your path. Pick up the crowbar and smash your way through the boxes. need to use your flashlight for the next area. Great. Remember, your flashlight will lose power over time, so switch it off when you don't need it. When the flashlight is off, it will recharge itself. Welcome to the Black Mesa Training Target Range. You'll get a chance to fire your weapon, reload, and fire the attached grenade launcher. Collect your equipment and proceed to the firing station. Will do. You'll need to hit every target to complete the course. If you miss, don't worry about it. The targets will keep moving until you manage to score a hit. If you want to get through the target range as quickly as possible, Try reloading during pauses instead of letting your gun run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire the grenade launcher, use the alternate fire button. Some targets can only be destroyed by lobbing grenades. I'll start the sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. to the next area. Your heads up display will let you know when oxygen becomes critical. That means you'll need to find some clean air to breathe. As you swim through this course, your blood oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you'll be given an opportunity to surface for air. Swim up 
to the surface to catch your breath. You regain health lost from holding your breath too long once you've made it to the surface for air. Go ahead and swim on to the next section. Yeah, that's changed. If you pass through fire or steam, you'll see damage icons come up in your heads-up display. Directional indicators at the center of your display will show you from what direction damage is coming. Proximity to radiation activates a Geiger counter and radiation display in your helmet. Many other biological and chemical hazards are also indicated in your heads-up display. So there's a Geiger counter in, on Barney's helmet? Okay. Please proceed to the next section. Yeah, they take away your guns in this version. <laughs> Lead a scientist into the next room. He will open the door that leads back into the transit system. To have someone follow you, approach the person and press your use key. He will then follow you until you face him and press the use key again. One moment. All right, I'm ready. Yes. I will follow you if you wish. Access granted. Press your use key to engage the train. Once engaged, move forward or backward to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press the use key a second time to disengage from the train. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard Course for Security Guards. You're now certified to join the Blue Shift High Security Unit. And there we go. Now, let's start this game proper, shall we?